Hey everyone, how are you guys? Hi Flyers Tag Team back here with another video again today. Today I was supposed to originally have a different video that I had uh, pre-recorded up on the channel, but last night we did have some reveals uh, from King of the Monsters, and uh, while I'm not going over everything that was talked about last night, I will be talking about something that was important, I thought, and I think you guys would really like to hear. Um, it has to do with uh, the new Titans. We got Titan profiles for all the Titans, including the new ones. Uh, this does not include the Queen Mido, sadly. I'm not sure why we, she didn't get one, but all the other Titans did. So, we're going to go over each of their ones. I'm not going to talk about the myth. The myth is basically just uh, going over and just uh, like their where they come like the name comes from you know like behemoths from the bible kind of goes over his role in the bible and such i'm going to just talk about uh their statistics and the reality portion of it so here we go so classification or my bad monarch designation behemoth classification titanus behemoth nature bio seismic body height uh 354 feet behavior protector range worldwide the reality aim synonymous with immense size and power behemoth is a lumbering mammoth with a woolly hide that erupts with serrated back spines of unbreakable granite fort filed with metal and ore his elephine bellow is a titan war cry that can be heard for miles when it engages in combat striking opponents with a size Seismic crash of thunder from massive tusks cloaked in centuries of overgrowth. Uh, a benign protector with an almost symbiotic relationship with an environment. Behemoth present presence breathes life into previously barren environments. As the massive amount of droppings become a nutrient-rich fertilizer that can regrow entire rainforests to help restore the balance of nature and strengthen the Earth's immune system. So with that, Behemoth basically is confirmed, you know, like even though we saw in the after credits, he can, he, whatever he does basically does regrow like entire rainforests. Um, he, his roar, uh, apparently is described kind of like an elephant, like bellow. And apparently when he hits with his, uh, tusk, it causes a seismic, uh, medic, uh, seismic crash of thunder. Not sure what exactly what that means. I assume basically that whenever he hits something with his tusk, it causes a uh, sort of aftershock sort of feeling from him hitting so hard it shakes like the whole ground and the earth and it sounds like thunder. So that's pretty cool. So that's Behemoth. That's his official stats stuff and some character stuff. Next up, Methuselah. Um, one of the ones I was really intrigued to hear. Uh, Monarch designation Methuselah, classification Titanus Methuselah, nature bio uh, ge geological, I think that's how you say it, uh, body height 322 feet, uh, behavior protector, range worldwide, the reality, Titan Sentinel with the power of camouflage, kind of cool for a Titan. Uh, Methuselah can remain hidden in plain sight, able to seamlessly uh, blend into the horizon of any rocky environment as a mountain range, a glacier, even earning the nickname Archie uh, among some of uh, some in the monarch rank for his time spent as a derelict island uh, in a controlled Canadian uh, ar archipelago. I'm sorry, guys, I just woke up. Uh, <laughs> disguised by forces vegetation that have claimed its rocky exterior for centuries of dormancy. Methuselah uses mountainous body as a shield and sanctuary to protect and relocate entire populations from environment catastrophic catastrophic oh my god catastrophes and titan attacks while lacking offensive environment uh, elemental powers my bad la while lacking offensive elemental powers methuselah is a lumbering tank in combat able to withstand a heavy barrage of attacks becoming a grand tight battleship uh, that bulldozes titan's opponents in combat methuselah is a sleeping giant more humans have unknowingly seen throughout history as it won it patiently uh as it waited patiently for the call to rise um so there you go this is cool so methuselah is really good with like camouflage stuff i do think that is pretty cool um you know that uh well you know camouflage i don't think there's too many kaijus that really can camouflage other than that they say it doesn't really have any abilities they just say that it's basically just a big tank and it's able to withstand a lot of like attacks and it bulldozes its opponents so that's that is really cool but 
I was hoping that we got a little bit more information on him about like his actual th strength and stuff because there's supposedly people who believe that he can like move tectonic plates or something but I don't believe that um last but not least Zilla or Scylla or however you want to say it I've seen multiple people say it uh so I'm just gonna go with like Scylla so monarch designation Scylla classification <clears throat> Titanosilla nature uh bio corrosive ooh uh body height 341 feet uh behavior destroyer uh, range worldwide <clears throat> the reality Scylla is an armored tank of a Titan that can quickly damage or quick my bad that can quickly change direction and maneuver sideways to throw off the attacks of opposing Titans in battle driving his massive claws into the earth like eight seismic uh, mortars uh, Titanus Scylla is a scavenger with uh, biological imperative to feed on the carcasses of dead Titans and press and process their uh, nutrients into a deadly bacteria that can poison water sources as such standard post-combat protocols for monarch uh, pathology teams to immediately begin breaking down any titan carcasses after engagements as quickly as possible um it has the ability to abandon its shell and burrow into a rock face to use uh cobbled uh together uh parts of sunken battleships as replacement exoskeleton armor until it can grow a new one to protect it it's tender uh invertebrate muscle tissue with a long and dexterous facial pro, pro i don't even know some of these words i'm sorry guys um it can pull prey into its maw and consume from above after d digesting with fl the flesh the remains in a uh, sinew are regurgitated into a field of scattered bones arranged in the distinct piles described in ancient mythology texts as rows of dried skeleton wheat mythology evidence has been discovered that um connects Zilla to easter island with analysis suggesting that mysterious statues that guard the shores may have been erected by or by ancients as metalithic scarecrows to keep them away okay um Wow, that was a really hard one for me to read. I'm sorry. Wow. I don't know why I couldn't read that. Uh, but, yeah, so that's really cool. We do learn she's biocorrosive. Uh, I don't know if the book goes into detail or not. But I have heard something about she can, like, spray, spray acid or something. Um, but, yeah, so apparently uh, she's really fast. She's a scavenger, uh, which is cool. You know, she's not, she doesn't like kill her prey and eat it, or it seems like she kind of just kills the dead. It's interesting how when she molds, she can use other stuff as like her shell until she gets something else. Um, but I don't see any abilities per se where she can like spit out like acid, like people were saying. So I don't, I don't think she can do that per se but maybe she can i don't know um so with that that's the titan profiles just the reality portions of it if you guys want to go through and read the myth you can do that on your own uh i'm sure i had them up on screen at one point you guys could have paused and look at them um i just had the titan profiles up but for the last thing before we go just so everyone can see um someone asked about titanus uh I don't even know that name. Sec commit. Uh, S E K H M E T. I've never actually, I I've never really heard of this Titan or like this mythology name. So I'm just going with sec commit because I don't know it. I really don't. I've never, I've actually never really, I've never really heard anyone talk about it. But they asked if it was a snake. And Michael replied that she's more of a lioness or a sphinx. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And so there's your guys' confirmation on that Titan. It's not a snake. It's not a centipede like this person was arguing. It's a lioness. And someone told me that it is based more on the mythology. I do love how someone replies to Michael, though, after he said it's a lioness. And they went, no, she's a centipede creature. <laughs> oh, my. I thought that was funny. But yes, there you go, guys. There's your Titan profiles. And you get now got confirmation on what that Titan is. I'm not even trying to say the name. 
I just woke up. I don't even, I don't even know half the words. I'm not even gonna play that though. Like, either some of the words I didn't know, or some of them I just, I just couldn't pronounce this morning for some reason. But thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and were informed. There's some really cool stuff that came out last night. It might be better if you guys read it on your own instead of listening to me say it. But thank you. I appreciate you guys that did. <laughs> Could understand what I was saying. Um, so once again, thank you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please share and subscribe as always. Uh, I have a bunch of content ready to go throughout the week. Uh, it's up on the channel. Uh, just not like out yet. Uh, about six videos not including this one so turn on the bell notification get notification for all future uploads again thank you guys for watching as always i really appreciate it and yeah we're almost at 10k guys too so whenever we reach that you know i got some special stuff planned so thank you guys once again really appreciate it and i hope you all have a good day peace